it's either six or eight degrees. I can't see. Can you, Dave? Nope. Nope. <laughs> If you can walk up to your TV and see for us, yes. uh, there you go. A nice start to this day, and we're always happy to, yeah, I can you see? I definitely cannot see it. I don't know. It's a six. It's an eight. <laughs> it's a seven. It's a six. Okay. Average it out. I met an elk in Edson once. This is a brand new book, an offering from our friend Dave Kelly, who's a children's book author as well as an actor, a playwright. The latest offering, the man, the legend, Dave Kelly himself. Good morning to you. How are you, Jill? I'm good. How are you? Very I, well. I laughed out loud reading this book. I'm and so it's glad. It's very charming. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. It Is was it fun based to do. in fact? Yes. I, uh, I met an elk in underwear at one point in my <laughs> <Yeah>. life. <laughs> Weird. No, it was, uh, it was a, I just thought it would be fun to write a story about uh, a, a lonely boy because as youngsters who doesn't have their lonely periods and he was going to a new school and he was like I, I'm not gonna know anyone and then he meets an elk who befriends him <laughs> in their ginch so that's good and comedy ensues <laughs> as well as adventures through Alberta but it yes. really is a charming vehicle to take these two characters all over the province yeah and that's kind of what the the idea was is and when I was a kid I did go camping a lot with parents because that's what you do and uh, and all these places we'd been to Drumheller and all around Alberta I thought what if I took a kid on a big adventure through the our favorite places in Alberta what would that be like well and it's in the book yeah. and uh, so who's your test market here who do you test the story out on got some very serious literary critics John who's six and yes. Tess who's four uh, my two kids and Tess just really liked, uh, John liked that there was a, an elk in underwear, and Tess, Tess just had, can I show her, her favorite yes, picture? So this is, this is what you should always have planned with the camera people ahead of time, and I don't, but. Uh, <laughs> Some she, things never change. So, can Dave I show to improv. This one here, does that work? So, so Tess turns to this page, and she just thinks the elk's face is, she goes, look at her, Ray, look at her face, that's funny. So that's the illustrator. I say, Tess, that's the illustrator. What do you think of the story? It's okay. <laughs> Is that Blythe? Yeah, there's... Is this Blythe? She goes, look at the moms are mad and the boys laughing and the elves going... <laughs> and I said, what about the story test? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> So there. It's okay, but the but the cute elk is pretty amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Speak about the illustrations, Dave, because um, it really brings the story to life. Yeah, and it was a fun like. So I got to write this, and you know when I started it was there's meetings, there's chuck wagon meetings at six o'clock during the stampede. Yeah. After that, we so that's when we go over here's who's the races and all that sort of stuff. Then there's a break between that and the actual races in the grandstand. So I sit in this empty room by myself. So one summer I had this idea, so I started writing it between like that I thought I want to get the Calgary Stampede in there so I started writing it sort of to fill time between the meeting and the show yeah and then three years later it's a book it took you three years to write yeah I mean I didn't do it like six hours a day or like that. It didn't take you 20 minutes <laughs> it's all poetry by the way yes there's rhymes in there I, that's the it's hard right yes like you sit there with and I just like you use this rhyming dictionary online and you think okay potato no, 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 there's nothing out there that's going to work with potatoes. Orange. In it. Yeah. No. So. Nothing silver in that book. <laughs> no. Um, and how much direction do you have when it comes to the visual aspect of it? So do you submit text or do you direct the illustrator? A bit of both. I mean, we said, I mean, the, the main character, in case you haven't figured it out, is a, is a elk named Rusty. It's a she. and she, Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. She's wearing the boy's underwear. Uh, so... Uh, so there was a bunch of like, what is that? What would that look like? So it's kind of funny to have an email inbox to say elk in underwear one, <laughs> elk in underwear two, elk in underwear three, and say what would that look like? Yeah, hilarious. Uh, and for you tapping into this part of your brain, because I think a lot of people know you as a playwright and mm -hmm. for the work that you do at the Calgary Stampede, and of course here on the show, and a bodybuilder, and a but yeah, an acrobat <laughs> on occasion. Um, all of these things are so talented, but truly writing for kids, is it a different, what's the process like? It is, uh, it is different because you realize they don't, uh, there's, there's no attention span. It just has to be funny. And I just think, ah, oh, it's me, really. It's like, does yeah. it make me laugh? And if it makes me laugh, then it will make a six-year-old laugh. <laughs> Elk in underwear is funny. It, it made a 30-something woman laugh as well. Okay, so how can people how can people access this book? So if uh, people get it? if you want to buy a book for your kids, uh, all about the or greatness of or for yourself, all about touring around Alberta, uh, better bookstores near you, but also Amazon. You can just go to Amazon and buy the book. Easy as that. Yeah.
And did you travel to all these places in the province? Some of them are obscure, including Elk Island. Elk, well, see, Elk Thank Island. Thank you. I, shout out to Elk Island. This is my home and native land. I didn't, until I sat here, I'd forgotten that that's where yes. you're from. Yeah. Well, we camped at all of these places, yeah, when I was a kid. So some of them I've been to lots. Stunning. Some of them only been, yeah. Natural and, bike and, surf. And did you see, and did you see elk growing up there? Absolutely. So it's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, See, you got is, that fact right. This is my fact checking after the book is published. They don't call it Elk Island for nothing. That's so funny. Yeah. I just love that you're from there. Yeah, so we, I've been to all of these places. So and great. I think people will resonate with, um, you know, the pieces of, of Alberta, including Edmonton and Calgary and the big yeah. centers and the big events, but also some of those hidden gems in our province. Head smashed in. Head smashed in Buffalo Jump. Drum Heller. All these fun spots. Did, did some, like, fall on the cutting room floor? Yeah, I had a whole bunch... I, like, I went through all, like, all the mountain stuff. I went through every little place and a bunch of, like, a poor red deer. I had a red deer stuff in there. That Get a red deer joke? Maybe a sequel. Right? This is it. There'll, there'll be more. Could be more. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. So glad. Yes. Great to see you. Thank you very much.